Congressman. Um, we're talking about uh, the Ryan budget and cuts to Medicare, but there's another health system in the United States. Uh, it's veterans hospitals. When the Republicans last controlled the House, the Senate, and the White House, and Bill Frist, who you know is Columbia HCA, the greatest, biggest uh, private hospital chain in America's family owned it. They, the Republicans, came up with a scheme to you know, they wanted to put veterans, give up, I was going to say us, yes, I am a veteran. They were, and they were going to uh, put us in HMOs. And when Jim Bradley was congressman here, we have the Manchester Veterans Hospital, there were such brutal cuts to the, the staffing there. The quality declined so precipitously, it was almost like they were going to make this a, uh, a case, like, oh, the, v the veterans hospitals don't work. And when uh, Carol Shea Porter was elected, real honestly, I think you, hire, you managed to get 167 staffers hired. I remember that number, because I am a user of the hospital. And uh, I, what will the Ryan budget, what are they planning to do with veterans? Uh, they have another scheme to, you know, close, they were going to close down veterans hospitals. Well, I'm, I'm glad you asked that for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's you. Carol Shea Porter was a huge advocate for veterans uh, during her time in Congress, and I know she'll be a fierce fighter for veterans uh, when she's reelected. I mean, she really made that one of her signature issues, and I just want to salute her uh, for that. Uh, and I think every veteran in this area uh, would recognize that uh, she was looking out for, for veterans. You're absolutely right. If you look at the Veterans Administration budget, uh, since you know the Democrats were in Congress and since the president was elected, uh, it has been significantly increased for, for veterans over what it was uh, during the Bush administration, uh, over what it was during the period of time that the Republicans uh, controlled Congress. Now, with respect to the impact of the Ryan budget, as I say, if you make the decision that you're not going to ask for one more penny from the very wealthy to help reduce the deficit over the long term. It means everything else uh, gets hit. Now, very specifically, the Ryan budget is important to say, would, in the end, reduce what's called discretionary spending to about, I think it's 4 percent of GDP. Uh, they also, at the same time, are calling for increased defense spending above and beyond what military leadership believes is necessary. In fact, they want it to be about 4% of GDP. If you do the calculation, the Defense Department budget alone <laughs> will then consume 100% of federal discretionary spending, leaving nothing for everything else. So I encourage people to go to the, the budget because that's how, over time, they begin to uh, reduce deficit. I also point out that even under that, that budget, they don't get the balance until way sometime in the late uh, 2030 period. And the reason is, if you're a true fiscal conservative, you deal with both sides of the budget. Approach. You recognize that we have to make cuts, and actually in the Budget Control Act, we cut over a trillion dollars over 10 years, and the President's budget calls for more cuts. But you do this in a balanced way. You do this also by asking the very wealthy to contribute to paying for our military, to paying to reduce the deficit and stop putting these wars on our national credit card where everyone else has to pay the interest on the debt. So we're just asking the folks at the very top uh, to go back to taking a, a more balanced approach where they also contribute to deficit reduction so it doesn't come at the expense of everybody else. My worry about the debts, if I can just say this, is I'm a, uh, I was a military spouse and proud of my husband's service. They have underestimated the need for veteran services in the um, coming years about 13 percent. So it's equivalent to about 13 percent cut by deliberately underestimating the number of vets that will be accessing the VA. And that's a great concern. I plan to work on that. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. I'm sorry. We